Hi, are there still any cheap stocks in this zooming market? Yep, here's one. But before I give it to you, let me tell you how I found it. To do so, I looked back to 175 years to the year 1849. What happened then? 1849 was the great California gold rush, which created many fortunes. But the most enduring fortune, you'd be surprised to learn, was not in gold, but in jeans. Yes, Levi's, the famous denim pants with the patented brass buttons. They were made by Mr. Levi, who realized that in a gold rush, the best money and the steadiest is often the one you make in servicing the rushers, in that case, the miners. Miners needed tough clothing and also picks and shovels, all of which Mr. Levi supplied, in exchange for a little bit of the gold they found. So while gold miners had a very small chance at a very large one-time fortune, Mr. Levi had a very big chance at an ongoing fortune. So over time, Mr. Levi's fortune became bigger than those of most gold miners. Now, what am I leading to? To lithium. You know, the stuff that all batteries need, both in cell phones and electric vehicles. For the last seven years, lithium was in short supply. So, of course, many small lithium mines popped up. In Canada, South America, China, in fact, everywhere. Also, the search for lithium intensified. Why? Just a few months ago, vast lithium deposits were found in Nevada, of all places, where gold is usually found. And because so many lithium mines opened, lithium price soon came down, as did the price of lithium mining stocks, which brought my interest. Why? Because they follow Uncle Warren's advice to be optimistic, where others are pessimistic, and vice versa. So was I looking at lithium mines? Nope. I kept looking for the equivalent of Levi's of the lithium business, those who provide services to lithium mines. And who is this one? I won't keep you in suspense much longer. I think it is Albemarle Corporation, symbol ALB. In fact, Albemarle is the Levi's of not only lithium, but of other specialty chemicals too. Before I go into its business, here are three lovely facts about it. First fact, the company was founded in 1887, only 28 years after the California gold rush. That's more than 150 years ago. So a fly-by-night Albemarle operation is not. Second fact, the stock is deeply cyclical with wonderfully predictable cycles, which makes it easier to make money in. And yes, we are now at the bottom of the current cycle, in my opinion. Please look at the stock price of the last 30 years and freeze the screen. No need to be a chartist to see the pattern here, right? Cycle bottoms are marked, as are the tops. But the third fact, not only is ALB stock at the bottom of the current cycle, but it is cheap and has a beautiful, wonderfully deep competitive moat that competitors cannot possibly breach. To understand this moat, I must tell you first about what Alamali does and how. The company develops, manufactures and markets engineered specialty chemicals worldwide, of which lithium is one. It operates with three segments. Segment one, energy storage. Segment two, specialties. And segment three, something called Ketchin, named after the US town where it is located. And it's in the first segment, energy storage, where ALB sells processed lithium compounds. So when lithium becomes cheaper, so are ALB costs, see? Now, still in this first segment, ALB also provides technical services for which it charges. More about it below on the patents and IP, intellectual property. Yes, just like cheap designers do. In fact, all chemical processors have such patents, which are an excellent source of revenues. They generate this via R&D spending, just like technical companies do. And as you can soon see in the table below, a and B has plenty of R&D spendings, all of which generate revenues. In fact, one chemical engineer I once talked to said the refinery, whether of oil or of minerals, is just a bunch of tubes with an IP pattern numbers on each tube. So that's A and B first two segments. Finally, the third segment, Ketchin, offers clean fuel technology, CFT. Customer includes energy storage, but also many other industries. To sum up, Albemarle can be seen as a resource processor with both patents and a huge plant. Now the potential soft spot of the stock. You already know I forecast the S&P to rush up here 
on the wings of lots of printed T-bonds until it rises well above 7,000, perhaps as high as 7,400. But then, sometime next year, the market will come down crashing 80%. Why crash? As I noted before, it will crash because the extraordinary length of the, of the time the yield curve has been kept negative by the Fed, nearly two years. This length of time was equaled only once before, in 1928-29, after which the stock market crashed 85%. So the market next year will almost certainly plunge the same rate as in 1929, but this after meteoric rise still coming up. So an obvious question is, won't ALB perhaps plunge as much? It might, but in my opinion, not as much. Why not? Because it has a huge value in its huge plants and equipment. That's the moat I spoke about. Here is a table of ASB property, plant and equipment net, also called PPENT, over the last four years, as well as the CAPEX, capital expenditures. Please freeze the screen so you can refer to the table later on. What can you tell from these numbers? The property plant has dispersed steadily rising over the last four years as the company spent a lot of capex, 20% or 30% of the plant every year. Both numbers are huge. At the recent bottom of the stock price, about 70 bucks a share, the stock was less than the value of the property plant per share. That property a plant, in my opinion, is a big moat, a defense against competition. Very few other lithium processors can duplicate either the 10 billion bucks plant or the three or two billion bucks a year in capex required to maintain it. Lithium mines, you see, have no moat because what they produce, anyone else can produce. ALB does have a moat. To repeat, at the bottom price of 70, you paid less than the property and plant per share. Now it's a sneak above. However, this year, 2024, the property and plant per share would likely rise to 100 bucks, and in two years, to 120. In previous cycles, the stock often sold at three and a half to four times that. If that's the case, I can easily see a price target of 500 bucks to 600 bucks for a stock selling today for 95. That's a five or a six bagger with a dividend too. Now, what's the timing of the peak? As you can see from the chart, bottom to peak in previous cycles for about two and a half years. So if August 24 was the bottom, allegedly, then the peak would probably be Q3 or Q4 of 2026, two and a half years away. But won't the stock fall first in the market crash? Maybe. The way I see it, though, it may fall only as much as gold stocks will, 30%, whereas the market, 80% plunge. But the upside is so high with such a quality stock that, it, that ALB, in my opinion, fully deserves dedicated sleuthing time on your behalf to create the inner iron conviction without which no sleuth ever bought anything. And remember, I'm not recommending the stock, just pointing it out to you as a worthwhile sleuthing exercise. But sleuth it how? You got it. Read my books, The Sleuth Investor, The Advanced Sleuth Investor, and see the method for yourself. That's all for now. Please let me know in the comment below what you think of the above. And if you like it, Please subscribe to the channel and forward to all your subscribers and friends who they subscribe to and buy my books, The Stoth Investor, Advanced with Investor, to see how you too could take the money of those who haven't read the books. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching.